Hi there. Today I'm going to show you a couple of advanced keyboard shortcuts, or shortcuts that require more than two keys. So the first keyboard shortcut I'm going to show you is the N shortcut. You do that by using Control alt down and what it does is it basically takes you to the bottom of the page. The keyboard shortcut that goes after this is the Home shortcut, which is Control alt up arrow, and that takes you to the top of the page. Next thing that we're going to be going through is how to open your Files app. You can do that by pressing Shift, Alt, and M, and it should come up in a couple of seconds. And next we have how to lock your screen. You can do this by closing your Chromebook. You can also do this by just holding down the power button for a short amount of time. But if you get used to this, you can do it instantly without having to do either of those things. It's just Control, Shift, and L, and then boom, your screen's locked. Next we have Chromevox. And Chromevox is this great little thing that will read all of your text for you. Chromevox. New line. Unselected. Chromevox can read everything for you, so you don't have to. Isn't that great? Selected. And next we have the uh, mother of all keyboard shortcuts. This keyboard shortcut shows you all other basic keyboard shortcuts. It's simply Control, Alt, and then Slash, and it opens up this keyboard overlay. And from the keyboard overlay, you can press things like Control, and you'll get all of your shortcuts that use Control. You can press Alt, all the ones that use Alt, Shift, the, like, legitimately five that use Shift, and then Control and Alt, Alt and Shift, and Control and Shift. Now, the next thing I'm going to show you is how to recover tabs that you've already closed. That's simply Control, Shift, and T. And it's useful for if you ever want to get back to something that you accidentally have closed. Another thing I'm going to show you is how to screenshot. Now there's two ways to screenshot. The first way is just control and then the little Windows key here. And that's just a screenshot of your entire screen. But if you want to do a select screenshot, like say I really like this how to use your Chromebook thing, I could do control, shift, and then the Windows key. And then come up with this little pointer. I just click, drag. And boom, screenshot. Thanks for watching, and that's all.